Hi Church, I wanted to just uh, send a few little videos out over this coming week just to prepare ourselves for the coming uh, three days of prayer and fasting that's going to happen next week. And uh, th this one I just wanted to share what I think is the heart behind why we're doing this. And I think it's, um, it's just good to be on the same page as we enter into this next week. And hopefully you're thinking about how you can be involved in your own way in prayer and fasting. And uh, I think it's true to say that um, this last two years particularly has been probably one of the most challenging um, periods of the church life. I think not only the pandemic, which has obviously caused us not to be able to be together, it's really affected the way that we've been able to worship together, how to be church, how to fellowship together. It's been really challenging, but also wider than that, we've seen um, a number of people move on um, and church has changed. Uh, it's been a real blessing to see new people coming and it's clear that we're entering into a new season and, um, and with any kind of real new season it's, it's, it's a good time to stop and say let's really get together, focus on listening to God, let's be in a place together where we can seek him, where we can pray for each other, pray for the church, pray for the community that we're in um, and just be available to God to, to hear his, his voice, hear his word to us. So. Um, and I think, you know, when we, when we go back and we think about the, the, the early church, the, ch the church itself was birthed in this place of seeking God, waiting on the Lord, if we read in Acts. Um, that's what they were doing. And as they were waiting on the Lord, the Holy Spirit came, filled them, changed their lives considerably. Um, and what a wonderful place where we can start this new season of our life where we're meeting together, seeking Him. We really want to see and ask that God would come powerfully afresh by His Holy Spirit. Because what we really want um, we, we, we want what he did then. He came in a way that was different, new and fresh, and he really brought something new. And we saw people uh, becoming bold, people's lives changed, people going out, spreading the gospel, um, and people being saved. And it wasn't just that people felt really encouraged, God really did something new. And so that's part of that heart behind it is to come and say, God, we want to come be in your presence. We want to invite your Holy Spirit to come and be have access to our lives. Um, and the fasting part of that, which we'll talk a bit more in, in a later video, is really about us preparing ourselves to seek God. And that's a part of what uh, fasting does. It brings us into a state of preparation to hear what the Spirit is saying to us. So I want to invite you. I hope that you can get involved as much as you can. Um, I really want to encourage you to come in the evening. We, we'll be online as well for those who are unable to be there, but I really want you to um, do your utmost to be there where we can worship and pray and seek God together in those evenings, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evenings at the church. Um, just a time to, as I say, to seek him and listen to what God is saying. Um, but if you just think about the, the heart of that, what is God doing at the moment? What's, where's he leading us? What's he saying to us? What's he saying to church? Let's come together. Let's ask God to come and move powerfully by his Holy Spirit. And so as you're considering your program next week, think about um, making that commitment to pray fast in whatever way what works for you. Um, but let's come and let's see what God's got for us in the next season.